welcome. The weather's getting to be above freezing now. The sun is out and conditions are improving. Last week, I rode on concrete the entire way up to the lighthouse. I thought this week it would be nice to do that again. So I plotted a map between two of our historic covered bridges here around our area. I thought we are going to have a great time. However, little did I realize that the road going back would be in fact an ATV trail. And not only an ATV trail, but the very worst conditions of an ATV trail I've ever encountered. So today, I'm riding through ice, mud, icy mud, lots of washouts, and a constant, never-ending supply of slush. <coughs> Dilemma. Is it that deep? Oh no, it is that deep. Good night, sweet motor. You have to hand it to Honda. This entire rear end was underneath the water. It was still starting to burst in the crane. I still really thought it was going to stall though. See, the rubber boots were a good idea. But, will the ruckus start? Look at that, just can't be beat. Here in New Brunswick, we can't afford sticks to check the depth. That's why we have to use our feet. several times to canoe upstream further inland into New Brunswick. However, I've always found that after a kilometer or so, I run completely out of water and I'm forced to walk. As you can see, this is not the case today. Google Maps didn't list a name for this bridge, which is really a shame, because it's a very pretty bridge. First time every time. This one was in much better condition than the other ones I've been to. It was clean, 
it was being used. And by golly, unlike the last one, this one even looks sturdy. I built a few things out of pallets around my property. They are wonderful pieces of equipment. I built a bed out of them, built a shed out of them, I built a wood enclave for them. This was very nice. Steps, chairs, benches, and the structure itself. Thank you for, for reaching out, and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it.